New twists and turns, dramatic ones in the hot car death investigation. As the dead toddler's mother lawyers up. That's right, Leanna Harris, uh, who has said some suspicious things, according to a lot of people, has just hired Atlanta criminal defense attorney Lawrence Zimmerman. Is this mother getting the feeling that she's going to be the next one arrested? It's interesting that her attorney's website is AtlantaNotGuilty.com. So far, mom's got nothing to be acquitted of. She hasn't been named a suspect. She hasn't been charged with anything. But some might say, hey, could that change? Prosecutors say Ross Harris, her husband, left their son to die in a hot car intentionally as he carried on his double life of lying and sexting with multiple women, even sending uh, pictures of his erect private parts to some of them while his son was dying. We've just learned he has been fired from his job at Home Depot. I would say sexting and sending photos of your privates is a fireable offense. Cooper died an excruciating death in the Home Depot corporate parking lot. He was strapped in way too tight to the car seat he'd overgrown as temperatures inside that SUV soared to an estimated 130 degrees. We now know that Cooper did not have any drugs in his system when he died. The toxicology results have come back negative. So which side will declare victory on those toxicology results, the prosecution or the defense? Straight out to the lion's den. First of all, Areva Martin, attorney. Uh, let's talk about the significance of Leanna hiring an attorney. Could it indicate a rift with her husband? Could it indicate that she's gotten some kind of signal from prosecutors or cops that a charge could be coming down? There she is, chewing gum at her uh, husband's probable cause hearing last week. I think, Jane, she's watching the same news that we're watching daily, and that news suggests that she definitely is under investigation by the police. The same evidence that's going to be used against her husband, some of which we saw during the preliminary hearing, is also damaging to her. The life insurance policy, apparently she was involved in that. Some of the comments that she made after she learned that her son had died. These websites that they visited about no children and how long it takes a child to die in a car. Some of that same evidence. And we do know that in Georgia, because there's a death of a, a child involved, they don't have the marital privilege. So she could be forced to testify against her husband and her husband against her. So I think anyone with half a brain would have done what she did, which is get a lawyer, because there's some very serious charges that may be coming down the pipeline for her, just like with respect to her husband.